Welcome back to Klopp Talk TV. Today we have got a Tottenham Liverpool preview show where I'll be giving you some starting 11, um, analysing um, Tottenham's low block. They play typical Jose Mourinho football. Uh, will Matty return? Will Henderson return? Um, Klopp has to go strong, surely. He has to go strong for this one. Um, but, you know, it's against Tottenham, who are known for being a very low block side, very similar to Burnley. Um, like to try and nick something out of the game if they can. Um, and, yeah, play a quite in a quite defensive style. Um, and, yeah, it's a difficult game. Difficult game, guys. Um It'll just be this is by the way, this has been recorded before Jurgen Klopp's press conference, which I've been told is taking place at half eleven. So if it, this is filmed at eleven. Um so you know, we still got half an hour until we find out whether Matty will be involved, whether Henderson will be involved, and Liverpool have to go strong for me. I think um you know, against a low block side, you have to go strong, especially when it's Tottenham. I think if Tottenham win the game, we go down to fifth or maybe even sixth if depending on the everton leicester game um but yeah uh a difficult game we know that um but yeah yeah let's get into it um so liverpool last time out one two one thanks to a bobby Firmino header he just loves to play against spurs doesn't he but i hope if Tim Sherwood's watching this, which he probably isn't, but if he is, I hope he he uh, thinks twice before uh, going on about Tottenham set pieces after that stink of a comment in the 90th minute. Here's the clip. But I think Tottenham have got the dominant dominancy in the air there, you know, so I'm not sure anyone can get the head on the first ball for Liverpool, apart from that one. Oh, oh, oh Tim! Oh, it's Firmino in the 90th minute. Wow, what a header. Firmino always has a good game against Tottenham, I feel. He scored last year. He scored the year before um, in the in the league. Um, you know, Salah has a good game as well. I swear he scores every game. So Firmino and Salah are obviously our key men in this game. They score in like every game we play against Tottenham. Um, so yeah, difficult game. But I'll go with my starting eleven prediction. I predict that... Alisson Beck will keep his place in goal. I think he needs to keep his place. I think Andy Robertson will fit in at left back um, with Trent on his other side. The mid, the back four will be completed with Joel Matip and Fabinho fitting in the centre back roles. Then we move on to the midfield. Now, if. Well, let's go back to the defence a minute. If Matip is not fit, I'd expect um, Reese. Not Reese Williams, Nat Phillips to come in. I think Reese Williams played last time out against Tottenham, but after that game against Sun on Sunday, his confidence is not probably um at its peak at the minute. So I wouldn't involve Reese Williams. If anything, I'd involve Nat Phillips if you need to. But I think Matty will start. I think the whole reason we didn't see him feature on Sunday was Klopp's thinking, right, we'll, we'll rest him for these next few games because they're, they're huge games if we want to stay in this title um, race and, you know, if we want to progress in the Champions League because, let's be honest, Matty's a packet of crisps. You crush him and, uh, well, you touch him and he snaps. He's literally like a pack of Pringles. Um, so, you know... I think Joe Matty will come back into the the the, the centre back role, but to be honest, we all know he's gonna get injured at some point. Um you know, I don't think it's a curse that me saying that because he can't he can't string five games together. So he does need rest in between games, um which is obviously a kick in the teeth because Liverpool still haven't bought a centre back in the window, which doesn't look like we are now. But we just got to roll roll with it and uh, hope the Fenway Sports Group get a centre-back in the summer. But onto the midfield, I've gone for a genie and um, genie on the left side of midfield. I've put Thiago in the six and Henderson uh, in the eight. I'd expect if Hendo isn't playing, I'd expect Milner to come in because he did play exceptionally well against uh, Man United on Sunday. So I would put him in if Hendo's injured. But I'm banking on the fact that Hendo... Will be back in the team following um the slight muscle concern that he had last week, um. But 
front three, I've gone for Manny, Salah, Firmino. Um, yeah, I think same. same we'll, we'll attack in the same way. I think we'll involve our full-backs more. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll see goals in this one from Liverpool. I think uh, from the game against Man United, we, we scored two goals. Firmino's on fire, Salah's on fire. And I think, um, you know, Manny's probably the only one now that's probably not on form. So it'd be nice to see him score, but I'd rather um, Firmino or Salah score and we win the game than if we lose the game and Manny scored, you know what I mean? So, you know, all all that aside, I think Matty's presence is massive just because um, Jose Mourinho will take advantage of the centre-back role if uh, Rita Williams uh, Nat Phillips or Henderson comes back into centre back, which I can't see happening. I think Matty will come back, and it's worth mentioning, guys, that Spurs counter attack. They like to counter on the break. Now that was a problem for Liverpool on Sunday, managing Man United. I think that was not purely because of Reese Williams. I do think we, um, you know, we usually have Henderson uh, covering the channels when. Trent and Robertson go up the field. We usually have Henderson um, sweeping up um, and covering, but we didn't have that role. Milner was sitting in slightly deeper to try and cover, but wasn't covering the flanks. And we just got exploited um, on a few occasions there, which made it, which obviously resulted in us losing the game. But forget about Man United. This is the league. we got to go for the league. We've got to start winning games quickly. Man City have just gone top of the league. Man United have the opportunity to go top today. Uh, yeah, I think all this talk about us with the title, including myself, I did say it the other day, but um, I think it, it can all change in two weeks. I think if Liverpool win their game against Man City, it's game on. Trust me, if Liverpool win their game against Man City and string together some wins, I think if Liverpool win their next six league games... We are still in it. We are still in it. We've beaten Man City. We've cut it to four points if they don't drop any points other than that game. So I think, you know, all all title talk aside, we should win this game. We need to win this game. And we need to exploit the weaknesses that Tottenham have. Um, because it's fair to say that they can't finish games off. They score and then they sit, they sit back. They play a, a low box. So we got to be ready for the Spurs counter-attack with Kane and Son. Um and yeah, we just got to take our chances when they come because we know with Jose Mourinho style, we don't get many. But here is um, some stats, uh, some interesting stats. Spurs have lost their last five league games against Liverpool. They've never lost six in a row. On the other hand, Liverpool are looking to win three consecutive away league games against Spurs for the very first time. This will be the first time Liverpool and Tottenham will meet on a Thursday in the top flight. Liverpool have beaten Spurs on each of the other six days of the week and they couldn't have become the third team to beat them all in top on all seven in top flight history after Everton and West Ham. Um, key men, Harry Kane has made 12 appearances against Liverpool and scored six goals and had assisted two. His form in recent games against Liverpool has not been that productive, though. He last scored against the Reds in the game at Anfield last season and prior to that in the 2017-18 season. Um, Roberto Firmino, like I said, he is, um, even before Liverpool and due with their tight, terrible slumping goal-scoring form, Roberto Firmino's goal-scoring form was under severe scrutiny, while that has only increased over the last few games. Firmino likes to play against Spurs. He scored four in his last five Premier League matches against Spurs, scoring the winning goal in three of those four games. <laughs> Let's have a look at them there. And it breaks for Roberto Firmino! Options in the middle, one of whom is Firmino! Team news. Le Celso is only Spurs' only confirmed absentee with a muscle injury sustained against Leicester. Matt Doherty, Deli Alley, and Ben Davis are doubtful for the Liverpool game. The likely lineup for Spurs is likely to be Lloris, Aurier, Roden, Dyer, Regulon, Winks, Hoiberg, Bergwijn, and Dombele, Son, and Kane. It's difficult, but um, on team news for Liverpool. For Liverpool, the Q in the injury room seems to have thinned out a bit, but it could be a false hope as this is 
as it has been many times this season. Joe Gomez, Virgil van Dijk, Diogo Jota, Naby Keita remain sidelined for sure. Captain Henderson will be assessed. Shakiri and Curtis Jones offer more options in the midfield. The likely lineup is Trent, Allison, Matip, Fabinho, Robertson, Shakiri, Thiago, Wijnald, and Manny Salafamino. They predicted no Henderson. Um, and the verdict on this is saying Liverpool at their worst ebb in a long time and their trip to London presents a major challenge for Klopp's team. For Spurs, the game on Thursday presents an opportunity to overtake Liverpool in the league table. And that too with a game in hand. They might just take it. Well, I think that's absolute bull. I think Liverpool will win this game. On to my score prediction. I think Liverpool would win win 2-1. I, actually, I'm... This person has every right to say Tottenham are favourites in this game. Because they are. They're more in form. We haven't been in form. We've lost. We haven't scored many goals. Tottenham are uh, going to be favourites. But you've got to remember that Klopp thrives on being the underdog, ladies and gentlemen. And I just think that with that um, bracket being placed on, the, on Klopp's shoulders, I think Liverpool could do it tomorrow. Um and get back to winning ways but yeah that's my pre preview show be sure to like subscribe and turn the post notifications on if you want to but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for a transfer show and an instant match reaction once the tottenham game's on done you'll never walk alone up the road